I've got to stop you as well, haven't I? Terminate. Start. Tempted to subscribe just so I don't have to wait a minute in between startups. Um, security misconfigurations are distinct from the other top 10 vulnerabilities because they occur when security could have been configured properly but was not. Security misconfigurations include poorly configured permissions on cloud services, like S3 buckets, having unnecessary features enabled, like services, pages, accounts, or privileges, default accounts with unchanged passwords, error messages that are overly detailed and allow an attacker to move to find out more about the system, not using HTTP security headers or revealing too much detail in the server HTTP header. This vulnerability can often lead to more vulnerabilities such as default credentials, giving you access to sensitive data, XXE or command injection on admin pages. For more information, I recommend having a look at the OWASP Top 10 Entry for mis Security Misconfiguration. Uh, that's what we got on there. Attackers will often attempt to exploit unpatched flaws, unprotected files, directories, gain off their access. Um, does it give any information other than what we've just read? Default accounts, error handling, upgraded systems, latest security features are disabled, not configured securely. Uh, security settings in app servers like Strat Spring, not set to secure value. Server does not send security header. Software is out of date. Uh, I've got links to the NIST guidelines as well. This VM focuses on default passwords. These are specific examples of a security misconfiguration. You could and should change any default passwords, but people often don't. It's particularly common in embedded and Internet of Things devices. Much of the time, the owners don't change these passwords. Yeah, you've only got to go on Showdown to see that. Um, it's easy to imagine the risk of default credentials from attacker's point of view. Being able to gain access to admin dashboards, services designed for system administrators or manufacturers or even network infrastructure could be incredibly useful in attacking a business. From data exposure to easy RCE, the effects of default credentials can be severe. In October 2016, DIN, a DNS provider, was taken offline by one of the most memorable DOS attacks in the past 10 years. A flood of traffic came mostly from Internet of Things and networking devices like routers and modems infected by the Mirai, uh, Mirai malware. How did the malware take over the systems with default passwords? Malware had a list of 63 username password pairs and attempted to log in to expose telnet services. 63, is that it? Uh, the DOS attack was notable because it took large websites and services offline. Amazon, Twitter, Netflix, GitHub, Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, many more services went offline for several hours in waves of DDoS attacks on DIN. Uh, this VM showcases misconfiguration as part of the top 10 list. Deploy the VM, done. Hack in by exploiting a misconfiguration. I guess admin admin. No. Administrator. Administrator. Admin. Password. Password one. What's the hint? Maybe the documentation gives you default credentials. Oh, really? Uh, 
Pensive notes, default creds. <laughs> pensive, pensive notes. Sick. Uh, no, <laughs> default credentials are a security risk. Uh, surprisingly common security flaw, especially with IT. I have a flag. I love it. So even in that, um, like in the uh, MD file. Sick. <laughs> right, there we go. 